Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Whistling 2 Director's Cut. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today as I, well, we start off by playing a little bit around with the perks. So the perks, how they work, basically, I in between episodes I went ahead and I looked at them. Basically, well, for the start of the game we only have one perk, um, so for the start of the game we have no perk points to allocate. But as we level up, we are now at level 4 with Francis over here, and every one of us, every single one of our original party members is level 4. But from the looks of it, it looks like it's every 3 levels. Much in... actually, yeah. It's every 3 levels, much in line with how Fallout worked. And over here, and it probably is, Rose over here, she uh, is halfway through level 5. She only has... oh, she already has one perk allocated, and so does Angela. So, um... Basically, perk-wise, what we have is a bunch of perks that don't really actually let me look at Diego over here because I think he has the least amount of uh, skill-related perks. So we have a bunch, every single character has a bunch of perks that are uh, just general perks and that you are able to choose in none um, without, uh, without needing to uh, having uh, any skill at all. But of course, as we level up our skills, and Diego, of course, only has a perk from Shotgun, because every single one of his uh, skills is not good enough yet. Not good enough yet. I could go for that, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, so, yeah, he only has Careful Hunter over here, which decreases friendly fire from Shotgun Blasts, which is nice, which is nice. But, uh, yeah, these general perks, they are pretty cool. They are pretty cool. I've looked at the, uh, some of the other perks down here related to the spells, and some of them are awesome. Some of them are, like, for example, this one, just fantastic. But, of course, those are late-game uh, perks, which, has, which, of course, are gonna take a while for us to get, if we are even gonna get them at all. Um, so, of the uh, general perks, I like, I like this one. There's a turtle over here, which is plus 10% evasion bo bonus when covered. That is pretty good, I think. Uh, we got the Tormentor, which is kind of the opposite, which is plus 10% damage when the enemy is under cover, or b behind cover. Um, which I don't know if I like as much, but there's this one, hit the deck, minus 25% from explosives. And since I don't, I don't want to save scum that much, uh, I'm gonna give it to Truth over here. Truth, on the other hand, has this one over here, the minus 15% under pressure penalty when uh, shooting a sniper rifle. We should be, we would be very cool if she wasn't, uh, if she didn't have that many uh, action points, because she has 11, and uh, her combat initiative is pretty good as well, so she, uh, she just moves around a lot, and I'm fine with that. So, for her, I think this one, where is it, Limber, Limber, yeah, that is it, this one would be better. So I think I'm gonna go with this one for her, and maybe later we're gonna go with that, but I don't know, I don't know, really I don't. Uh, because this will uh, offset a little bit the, um, this one I think will, will be a little bit better for us. So let's go with Limber, yes, I am sure, I want to unlock, thank you. Um, as for Diego, yeah, so later on I'm gonna give her a hit to deck because she, she has the uh, demolitions perk, or the skill, rather. So for Diego, he has one... Uh, one uh, perks, perk point to allocate. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, so I might be improving a little bit of some of my skills. Alarm disarming doesn't really matter that much. I know I'm gonna go with toaster repair because there's a toaster uh, upside and I want to repair it. Leadership would be cool as well. So I can spend four points over here and one point over here. But safe cracking is probably gonna be needed anyway and so is lock picking. But maybe Angela is going to be able to, um, I don't know, to offset the lack of these two skills a little bit. At least for this skill, a little bit with her brute force. Uh, so how... Junk Diver. Let's see what that is. Junk Diver. So we go down here. This is sorted by... Um, junk Diver. Upon finding a junk item, 15% chance of finding another junk item. Huh. That's pretty cool. That is pretty good. But I'm not gonna go with that. I'm gonna save the skills, and I'm gonna save the perk point as well. For Azahel, Azahel is our strongest character. She has 8 strength, which means that she can carry a bunch of stuff. She's also very fast, which means that she can move around in combat a lot. Unfortunately, she's not very coordinated, which means that she doesn't have that many action points. I don't really remember off the top of my head how many she does. She does have, let's see, uh, 9? Is that 9 or is it 10? Oh, actually, I think she has 11. Eh, it's not, she's not that bad. She's not that bad. 
So I could go with a uh, a low point. Let's see that one. I don't remember this one. Yeah, armor penetration, which is not that bad. Actually, I think Francis also has that one. Yeah, he does. Okay, so for Azahel, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give her Pack Rad. What is it? What's it? What's the name of that? Uh, Powder Packer. E no, 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 it's not. That's actually pretty cool, but. A hoarder, that's the one. Plus 20% maximum carry weight, which for her means she will be able to carry a bunch because she can carry a bunch already. So let's go with hoarder for her. Uh, she's gonna take one for the team, basically. Oh, the little guy came back, he came down here. I don't know why. Why was that? Why? Wasn't it supposed to be here? I don't know. Possibly a bug. Doesn't matter. So for Francis, what I'm gonna give her, uh, gonna give him, is gonna be affable. Maybe later down the game, uh, because he's he's uh, so dialogue oriented. Um, I might save my perk point. Yeah, I probably will. I probably will. So let's get going. Let's get going. So that was our little, I don't know, fun with perks to begin the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, so join along now that I am done with that, and you are now enlightened as to how perks work. Let me press F9. Uh, I must remember each time I play. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so th there's mushrooms over here. So what I'm gonna do? Let's see. I yeah. In between episodes, I also went ahead and healed a bunch of people. I'm gonna control the party with Azahel at the front because I want her to shoot first. So let's have everyone uh, drop their stance. Azahel is gonna shoot somebody. Let's see. Out of range. What's your range, girl? You need some perception for that. Not perception. Awareness. Okay. Uh, let's go. And was a hit. That was actually pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. So, and also redistributed our, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, ammo. Ammo! Yeah, that's what it's called. <laughs> uh, and, uh, yeah, so we're pretty good in regards to fighting these mutants over here. Let's see. Nobody coming this way. Let's go into an ambush. I have also learned that ambush, going into ambush, decreases your chance to hit by, I think, 10%. Yeah, I think we're gonna stay with that for right now. Uh, so let's go with that. Um, ambush again. You, Rose, you're gonna go there and you're gonna go uh, into crouch and you're gonna wait your turn. And so are you. You're gonna go there and wait your turn as well. Yeah, there we go. Okay, you, on the other hand, Angela. No, you're pretty good with a rifle. Uh, so go ahead and ambush from there. Can't you ambush from there? Oh, there you go. Okay, so you need... They didn't... Are they not moving? They're not moving, are they? Come on, flies! Move! Okay, I don't think they're moving. Okay, let's just ambush. What's the... Yeah, it's V. V! Oh, lost control. She didn't move, though. Okay, so she is losing control. I should be starting to move myself. Let's put you over there and go into crouch and don't... Don't... Yeah, don't uh, ambush. You guys ambush, though. Yeah, there they come. Okay, so, I need to focus on that guy, because he, if he's... There we go, a couple, a couple, not a couple, three ambushes. Uh, unfortunately, one of them missed. That's another two ambushes, and one of them missed as well. So that guy is, is toast, basically, he's almost dead. And I might get a chain reaction from them, yet yeah, there's a lot of them. And there's two super flies. What's this one? I don't know what that one is. So I got, okay, so I could go with that guy, but I should go with that guy first. There we go. Uh, that would kill this guy. Huh? Okay. And your turn. Maybe you're gonna get... Okay, you... Mm, go ahead. Waste your bullets. Waste your bullets. Okay, there we go. Lost control. Yeah. That's fine. When Angela loses control, it's fine. Okay, so he's attacking Sagara. Uh, Saga yeah, he's attacking Sagara. So it's, I need to be careful of that. I need to take care of this Superfly first. Ah, there we go. Whew. Uh, I hate those misses. I hate those misses. Did I level them up? I think I leveled them up in between episodes as well. Not sure though. Uh, in regards to their combat skill. Uh, not sure. Okay, that was a miss. Uh, let's see. I got a couple of shots. Let's attack that guy. Didn't, didn't hit this superfly, but that one did. There we go. Perfect. And you don't lose control, Rose! You dumb girl. Okay, so I need to move this guy back here. This girl, rather. I'm going to an ambush. That's gonna work right there. And it hit. I was kind of afraid of that. Oh, there's a guy here! I didn't see that guy! I didn't see that! Sorry, Rose! Yeah, I need to deal with him. Let's see how much damage you'll take. 12? Yeah. Okay. How the hell did I not see that guy? Was it... What? What happened right there? 
I don't know what happened right there. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Let's call for level up. Copy, Echo One. Yeah, Echo shaking one. in. Congratulations, Echo One. Thank you, dispatch. Or general. What's his what was his name? Vargas? I think it was Vargas. So that went relatively well, all things considered. We got a bunch of loot. Let's take care. Let's distribute it all. We got a heart, apparently. Was that a heart? I don't know. We'll see it. Oh, by the way, I also went upstairs and uh, to... Oh, there's something over there. It's a bomb. It's a mine. What is it? Why the... Hmm. Not sure what I should do because that thing is going to blow that thing up. Uh, is it supposed to... Do I dig it up? I don't. Huh. Let me save the game. Uh, yeah, I went up and um, have a ch had a chat with the... Uh... It's not going to go well for you, Truth. Is it... It looked... Oh, critical success. What was that about? The landmine has been disarmed. Oh, so that was that. Was that... Okay. That thing is not going to blow up? Huh. Interesting. That yeah, is kind of interesting. Well, I have Rose over here. We can shoot that. There we go. It blowed up a bunch of stuff, though. That sounded a little bit more brutal than, than I was expecting it to sound. But that is that. That is that. Uh, so, yeah, I went up uh, upstairs and, and to have a chat with Matt Forrestall and with the other girl. What was her name? Kathy... Catherine something? Lof Lawson, I think. Yeah. And, um, yeah, apparently she found a cure. She's going to tell us that, I think, when, when we go there again. Uh, she found a cure, but unfortunately she needs some sort of serum. And I'm going to find that serum, so it's all cool. I know where the serum is. I'm not going to tell you, though. Not going to tell where the serum is unless I find it. Oh, un oh, until I find it, that's what I mean. Okay, let's have that thing blowed up. There we go. I have plenty of ammo for this thing. Uh, it's the easiest sort of ammo to find, so it's all cool. Uh, I, I don't mind wasting some of those bullets. And, uh, yeah, so basically, long story short, Matt couldn't sell to me because he was still feeling sick or something. I don't know. Just a big wuss. Big wuss in a wheelchair. Ugh. I mean... I mean, I can understand that it's not feeling well, but seriously, trading with me? You're not gonna, you're not gonna trade with me? Come on, Matt! Don't be such a downer. I mean, it's gold. Actually, it's junk. You're telling me you're giving me gold, not gold. What, what is it in this game? Uh, it's not caps. What is it? Where's the money? Where's the money? I need. Where's my money? I don't. Uh, over there. Huh? Currency, I guess. Okay, totally fine. Got some clips, scripts. I, I don't know. What's the name of those things? I, I'm not. I'm unfortunately not versed in the lore of Wasteland all that well because I have only of the Wasteland games. I have only played this one, uh, much to my my shame, really. That thing is gonna blow up. That is good. I don't know. They blowed up. Well, the other ones did, but these ones were not blowing all that much up. Uh, but yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't get to play yet the original game, although I will sometime in my future. I will get to play Wasteland one. I have it. I have it on uh, goodoldgames.com or gog.com, uh, but I have never gotten around to playing it. It's just uh, there's so many games to play. I love RPGs. I just I just love RPGs. There's so many of them. My backlog is like Im immense, and I need a, if if anything if 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 anything about this whole YouTube thing about kernel RPG, it's that I got to play so many games and finish many games. Not so many games because I've only been at this like five months now. Think, uh, let's get you back here. Uh, okay, so that was the correct spot. And yeah, but I got to finish them. Like for example, um, what was the name of that game? Uh, Serpent in the Staglands, for example. It's a game that I probably would never have finished if it weren't for the uh, series that I was playing on on, on the channel. And um, I don't know, but I'm just, I play a bunch of stuff. I play a bunch of stuff. I play games that uh, that I wouldn't play normally, like for example, the Swindle, I just saw it and I, was, I felt like, okay, that game, that, I'm gonna be bad at that game, but, you know what, I wanna play it, and turns out I got pretty good at the game, pretty good, if I do say so myself, but, oh, if you, oh, no, 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 stupid, stupid girl, and now you're infected, Ugh. okay, it should be fine, though, it should be fine, and the infection really isn't the problem, the problem is the damage, but whatever, uh, yeah, Swindle, Swindle was one of my favorites, actually. The games of the games that I've played. And so has, for example, Satellite Rain, a game that I probably probably would never have finished outside of the of this channel. I don't know, it's just... I... I my life is busy. And, uh... Yeah, it's just 
or on a personal level, and, uh, and, uh, I don't know, I just, there's so many games coming out that I, I like to play them, but it's, the, the de dedication to playing them is just, I don't know, I finished games, I finished RPGs though, though, oh, got a bug, what is that, what is that, okay, I s think I've seen this bug before, yeah, it's, it's all cool, it's fixed, it is fixed, yeah, that's, it's kind of weird, sometimes that happens, I, I saw that in the original version of the game, or some, something similar. I think I remember it being down here in this area. There must be something wrong with this particular area. So, can't really pinpoint what, what's, uh, what the problem is. But yeah, I think there's a lot of RPGs. And just old ones that I just tend to not finish as, as reliably. And I do want to. Okay, this is bad news. This is really bad news. We're gonna take a bunch of damage then. Okay. So what I'm gonna try and do, let's see, can I shoot him without harming my... That was not that terrible, that was a lucky crit. You can go back here, I think you're not gonna be hit from there. You might, so let's shoot this guy. Miss, and let's shoot it again. A hit, and come back here just in case... Okay, you got a couple of hits, that is not terrible at all. Let's take care of that guy. Okay, Diego is really my biggest concern right now because of course is is uh okay let's bring you over there he's, he's, he's low on health so that is a big problem okay so that's how it goes okay so fine it's it's fine with me fine with me i might not be able to kill him though mm, that was a bad move that was a bad move so i need rose to take one for the team maybe not though if she can hit him once and then She's gonna take one for the team. Oh, yes, she is. What? That didn't hit her? How the hell did that work? That's good. I mean, I'm not complaining. Not complaining at all, but you know, I kind of was expecting her to get hit by that. But that didn't happen, so it's all fine with me. I got a bunch of enemies here, though. Yeah, but I'm gonna finish back to the finishing RPGs. Um... Wall story. I'm gonna finish this one. I'm gonna finish every single game that I start on my channel. So it's you guys don't need to worry. You guys don't need to worry. If you see me starting a game, unless I explicitly say that it's just an impressions video or something, uh, I I'm gonna finish them all. I'm gonna finish them all! <laughs> don't know where that came from. Anyway, uh, so you got more stuff back here. I'm going to the right. Oh, is that thing breachable or something? Forgot to reload, I think. Sight blocked? No, it's not blocked. Tack it! Ineffective. Perfect. Reload your guns, people. Reload your guns. Somebody's out of ammo, though. Is it you, Truth? She's out of ammo. Damn it. Yeah, she has, she's low on ammo, so I need to be careful of that. I think I'm gonna bring her to her pistol now. Unless I can find some ammo soon. That is gonna be a serious hit to our survival chances, if I'm honest. Hopefully we're gonna, not gonna find a whole lot of enemies from now on, but I I don't think so. I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't think that's gonna happen. Let's take care of this little mound on this little pile of rocks over here. Our shovel is very, very sturdy. And let's distribute that all over the party. Let's keep going. So what was the point of coming back here? Well, to get there. There is enemies on the other side. Do you see that side blocked? Pretty sure that's an enemy. Pretty sure that's an enemy. Yeah, what is that? Okay, that's fine. Let's take that. Can I take that? Why are you not like? Oh, there you go. Okay, good. Let's get out of here. So that was not a waste of time, but also not exactly a, a profitable... What was that? Oh, yeah. Uh, a profitable excursion up there. So it's fine. It's fine. We're gonna both... I think... I don't know if I'm gonna do it on camera or off camera. It kind of depends on the pacing of the episode that I do it on, that I finish this quest or this area. But I'm gonna go uh, around and finish the stuff that I that I need to finish. Like, for example, I need to save these guys. Uh, okay, let's distribute that. I need to uh, repair the toaster upstairs. There's a toaster that I, we found, and then uh, I want to repair it. And I might do it on camera, because it's not really... I mean, I just need to look around this one particular area. Because Oh, also, I need to go back to the east wing, I think. Or is it the last one? I don't know. But th there's a... There's a room full of those weeds that we found back there that is full of stuff in there as well that I want to visit. I don't want to miss that. And because I'm pretty sure that has quite a bit of stuff for us to get. So that guy's going to stay there for a little bit longer. We're not going to be able to save him. Oh, there's some, something over here. There indeed it is. This is actually a 
the area that we want to go to. Do you see this room? Can we can we go in there? Hello? Okay, there's dead guys over here. They are got a weapon over there. Go away, Sergio. Oh, no, Ryan. Dr. Herbison, that is. Looks like he didn't reach his weapon in time. Yeah. Sergio, Ryan, this researcher Scrub is wearing a smiling photo ID badge labeled um, Ryan Herbinson. Or Herbison. The woman fingernails are splintered and bent back. It looks like she was clawing at something. It also looks like she took a shotgun blast to the face. Huh. Huh. Go away, Sergio. Shut up, I'm not Sergio. Who the hell is this Sergio? Okay, that's normal ammo. I'm gonna give it to as a hell. And this goes to Diego. And this one. Uh, distribute that over the party. So there's a guy in there. Then I got a nervous side, or whatever, however that is pronounced, I don't know. I'm gonna give it to her, since she doesn't really have that much ammo. She has six bullets of those. What does this use, though? Energy cells. Oh, it's an energy weapon. Yeah, I'm not gonna give her that. Not gonna give her that. Actually, mm, I might. I might. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I have some energy cells over here. Yeah, all of those. And I should have some uh, others around here. More 10, that should be enough. I'm not sure if that's gonna work too well against plants. I hope it does, because it's an herbicide, right? It's against herbs. Um, like genocide against herbs, right? That's for where the word comes from. Uh, okay, so this is bad. This is really bad. The scratches on this door look like they were made with fingernails. There is also blood. Can I chat with the guy? Let me save the game. This man smells of booze and sadness. You ain't Sergio no more. Please, don't make me shoot you. Don't make me do to you what I had to... to... <laughs> I'm not I'm not Sergio, man. So who are you? Um, where are the rangers? Rangers? You bastards, what took you so long? Hang on, I'll unbar the door. Okay, so what happened, man? Did you kill Sergio? What? Hmm, no, you didn't kill Sergio, right? Skinner. Okay, okay. You're still people. So what are you doing here? You come to save the day? Well, you're too late. Oh, hi, Dr. Rose. Didn't see you there. Hello, Mr. Skinner, she says. Uh, why did you say we're too late? Maybe if you would have come earlier, I wouldn't have had to kill my wife. What the hell took you so long? Why did you kill your wife? She was... Was she a pod person? You killed a woman out there? My... My wife, Marta, she and my son, Sergio, were out in the fields when the madness started. I guess they came down here to the caves to find me. They found me all right, but it wasn't them no more. It wasn't? Huh. When did this madness start? I started seeing it in the mushroom caves about an hour ago. The mushrooms growing out of control, the other guys getting sick, acting funny. Then the alarm started going off. I tried to head upstairs to find Marta and Sergio, but Doug from Engineering and a few of the others chased me in here and tried to tear my face off. And then... Then Marta and Sergio showed up. Man, what, what are these caves anyway? That's where we experiment with new breeds of mushrooms and other fungi. Not the cheeriest job in the world, being underground all day, but I like it. Cool and quiet down there. At least it was. Until the madness started. Yeah. So, I hear you know the merchant who saw Ace die. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's Skinner. Who? Oh, you mean Sammy Haas? The snake squeezins man? Yeah. Yeah. That... He was there when Ace was attacked. Don't know how much you'll get out of him, though. He was so scared when he told me. I could hardly understand what he was saying. Did Sammy tell you anything about the attack? I couldn't get much sense out of him about that. All I know is that someone or something attacked him, and Ace fought it and died. You want more details? You'll have to get them from Sammy. Where can I? Can. What? What? Where can we find Sammy? If you're lucky, he'll be in Real Nomad. That's where he stocks up on snake squeezins before he makes his rounds. Real Nomad, huh? So that's where the two tribes are fighting each other for something. Huh. Okay, so you like snake squeezins? They are God's greatest gift to His creation. Most delicious thing you'll ever taste. And really takes the edge off... Well, everything. <laughs> so, what do you think of us, the Desert Rangers? 
Always happy to see the rangers come around. Yeah, yeah. That was a ranger once. Did you know that? Oh, I know. Yeah, he told me. Uh, so, uh, Sergio, who's that? My son. He was with his mama in the fields when everything went insane. I guess he must have caught the sickness somehow. Because when he came home with Marta, he... He attacked me, just like she did. So glad the blast that, that killed Marta scared him off. I couldn't bear to kill my wife and my son in the same day. Well, I'm thinking I have already done the son part of that whole equation already. I'm not sure if he was one of the guys outside. But anyway, you cleared the path to the lobby. You can escape. Thanks, but I don't know if I'm ready to go. Don't want to see any ghosts. What do you mean, ghosts? What else would you call dead people you knew and loved who are still up and walking around? I killed one already. I don't want to kill no more. Well, they're not exactly dead, it's just that, well... Hey, Rangers, if you're gonna be heading out, would you mind me coming with you? Talking to you has made me ashamed to be hiding when there's work to be done. I know I might meet my son out there, but that shouldn't stop me from trying to get moving and see what I can do to help upstairs. Can I follow you? Just till we get out from the caves? So, you're not afraid of ghosts anymore, are you? Oh, man. Okay, come with us. Thank you. I feel better already. Okay, let's go. How the hell do you feel better already? How does that work? Okay, let me save the game. We got a new companion right now. He's not controllable, but he's with us, though. So that is, I guess, cool and old. Uh, what was that? A crate? Maybe a treasure? Okay, what is this? Is this what we want? These sprayer tanks are contained with fungicide. Do not ingest. Dented and ancient. These tanks look to contain the very last drops of fungicide in Ag Center. Might be useful in combating the fungal infection. Yeah, this is what... This is what uh, she wants. Got a bunch of experience from that. We got also History of Ag Center Part 2. That is cool. I promised you guys that I'm go I was going to read it uh, in one of the episodes when I get all of them. So, yeah, you just have to hang on in there. I got a bunch of junk. Computer Gaming World number 52. Okay, I'm not sure if that was a real publication or what. Uh, you know, of course, international publications or American publications are, are of my general knowledge because I am Portuguese. I have never lived outside of Portugal. So, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. I know there is PC Gaming and PC World something. I don't know. Might be mistaken on that. Uh, but I know Edge, for example. I think that's British. And I know, uh, I think GameSpot has one magazine or had one. Yeah, magazines are dying. Ouch! Okay, that was a bunch of damage right there. Man, I got a mine. Okay, you got more over here. Nah, that's, that's fine. She's gonna get, oh, by the way, she has a perk that basically whenever she uses that skill, she gains energy cells. And I think she might have gained those there. Okay, so I got Charisma. I will take that over to there. And the rest goes into the wool party. It was kind of bad that I got hit by that. But oh, well. Can't be perfect every time. Not that I am perfect any time, but still. Okay, I got Luck and Charisma. I think Charisma is better than Luck. But the problem is... Let's see. What's the downside of this one? Minus Kiss S. That's fine. That is totally fine with me. She doesn't use Kiss S, so... He's not into kissing the uh, wall butt thing. Uh, uh, there we go. We got a trap. No, that's a lock, but that is fine. Let me save, though, just in case something terrible happens. Save, and that is fine. Even if I miss... Have we had a critical miss? A critical failure yet? I don't know. I remember the first time I played the game, I, uh, I saved come a lot <laughs> with these chances. But then again, I might have been a sickle. That goes to Angela, because she's pretty good with that. Let's see. She has 11 to 18 on this one, and uh, this one, what's the damage per AP? That's considerably better than mine. So, as a hell, no, you have a heavy weapon, you don't need that. It's not loaded, it's not loaded, but still, uh, you don't you don't need a melee weapon. She does, She can't use it either, so it's it's fine. Um, a sign on the door reads, Fertilizer Storeroom, warning, toxical, toxic chemicals. You can hear sobbing coming from behind. Oh, well, I can't hear it anymore, because it's right, uh, right behind me. Okay, so I think I might have killed Sergi for you, man. So you're not gonna see ghosts anymore. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, okay, so let's get out of here. I need to take him up uh, upside, I think. Let me save the game Thanks again. For leading me out. I'll head upstairs. But I got no clue what I'm gonna do without Marta and Sergio. Oh god. Go, man. Feel better. 
It's gonna take a while for you, huh? Oh boy. And with that, I'm gonna end the episode right here. I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Wasteland 2 Director's Cut. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next episode. Bye bye!